Grand Cocos Valley played host to the District 27 wrestling tournament Saturday and earned three championships. Two were completely devoid of drama as 170-pounder Ethan Kraft and 195-pounder Drew Booker pinned their way through their respective brackets. Sophomore 120-pounder Jaden Gonzalez championship had drama to spare though. After he pinned Brick Memorial's Michael Cade in the semifinal round, he had to tough out a wild championship bout with freshman Michael U. Marino of Cherry Hill West. I needed to just like, you know, pull through and like score points and backs on top. But this match, I realized I needed to work more on neutral. Working neutral paid off for him with two early takedowns, but it was also playing to Yu Marino's strength. Gonzalez got tossed twice for back points. I, I should have listened to my coaches and just, you know, stuck to leg attacks. So, uh, you yeah, know, I just show I know what I'm talking about. The last big move went to the home team, and it clinched a 24-17 decision for Gonzalez. It's amazing. It's even more sweet that it's at a home match. I get to see all my friends and all my teammates and uh, all the fans in the stands. It was the last time in front of those fans and those stands for Boker and Kraft. Boker made short work of the 195 pound bracket with three bouts that totaled less than three minutes. I'm never really too amped up on my emotions. I'm usually pretty calm. Usually handle my emotions pretty well, but it was a little, it was a little bittersweet. No, this is the last time I'm stepping on this mat and it was pretty nice coming out with a W. Boker's semi-final victory over Blaze Lawson of Manchester was the 150th of his career. Number 151 came against Donnie Hart of Collingswood and earned Boker his third district title. I hit a little bit of everything. I was just kind of prepared for this these weeks coming up and, you know, sharpening my tools, my arsenal, and really just preparing. Kraft also became a three-timer with three pins in three minutes, 46 seconds. And this year I definitely came out with a little more, you know, fire. I wanted, I mean, I didn't go out of the first period with any of my opponents and that's what I wanted to do. So I'm really happy with how I wrestled today. I just came out with the mindset today, like I didn't want to have to worry about anyone. I just wanted to do what I was going to do as fast as possible and just get off the mat. I was working a lot of bars, uh, Michigan series, uh, claw, all types of stuff. Stuff I've been working in practice for with Drew and everything like that. Gonzalez, Kraft, and Boca will be in street clothes Wednesday night when the Region 7 tournament gets underway at Tom's River North High School. Five of their teammates will be in singlets, though. The Red Devils, who were third in the team standings behind Cherry Hill West and Brick Memorial, sent eight to the final Saturday. Those who didn't prevail will have to wrestle through a preliminary round to get to Friday's region quarterfinals. Only three champions, you know, uh, we wrestled tough, though. We had, you know, the eight kids, we all, they all wrestled tough in the finals, had good matchups. Um, you know, some will come on Wednesday and three will rest start the tournament on Friday. From Rancocas Valley High School, this is John Lewis.